Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the On Fire B2B podcast, where we take business owners and CEOs in the B2B space. Six questions in nine minutes, because the best know how to be concise and when to end. So with that, first question for our guest today, in a few sentences, tell us who you are and what you do. Thanks, I'm Ann Dorgan, and I'm the CEO of a leadership development company in Seattle, Washington called Gumball Enterprises. Fantastic, and question number two, what's the best thing about working with businesses? Well, contributing to our acceleration uh, and their acceleration as leadership um, development uh, experts, which ultimately leads them to their desired success, so we're like head coaches really in our company. Um, if you think about American football and uh, we are the ones who are expert head coaches, we stand on the sidelines and we're the ones who are not only uh, very tight with the quarterback, but we also understand the franchise, we understand offense, we understand defense, we understand the bench, we understand how to get those players on the field uh, at the right time. Um, we understand uh, the team and bring them through their dailies. So we love our job in the sense that we're not interested in being the CEO. We're actually interested in seeing the CEO and their companies accelerate. Ah, love it there, love it there. Question number three. I'm hearing from other top executives and owners that using quotes and testimonials from clients dramatically increases conversions and sales. Your thoughts? Um, without a doubt. Without a doubt, referrals are the number one sales uh, channel. And when we can get our clients to commit to and be witnesses of our work, um, there's not a better way to make uh, the next sale. So absolutely, uh, testimonies are essential. Absolutely, I agree. Question number four, what advice, Anne, would you share with other businesses working in the B2B industry? Well, I think developing clearly strong customer service. So we live in Seattle and Amazon is our exemplar. They do it best. Um, so how are you servicing your customers is critical, including loyal relationships uh, and meaningful change. So if you had to um, uh, narrow it down to two things, again, it's the long-term relationships and meaningful change. An impact. So the way you do that is to first understand who specifically you are serving and really understand what they care about, understand who that market is. Um, finding that target market is essential to actually being able to develop the re right relationship. Uh, and then you can actually be valuable together. And so the B2Bs are um, you know, it, it's, we need each other. We're, we're really leveraging each other's strengths. So to understand one another is, is primary to that great customer service. And then we have to be able to prove that we have brought the value we promised to, to bring. So we have to deliver on our promises and we have to be able to measure that. Um, the value that we bring uh, must be proven and it can be testimonials, but it can also be, um, something that you measure over the long term. We return to our customers six months, a year later, and ask those questions. Uh, what continued impact has the work we've done had on your business today uh, versus say just at the initial time of engagement? So again, you know, we have to understand our customers. We have to fulfill our promise so that they can trust us and we must be able to measure our own value. We can't leave it up to them. We have to be able to have a return on investment assessment and a re way to report that assessment uh, back to our customers so that they, they understand what we've delivered uh, and not to put that responsibility on their shoulders. That's an overall great point, great point. Question number five, what other top CEOs and business owners like yourself in the B2B industry, would you like to acknowledge as a leader and should receive an invitation to be a guest on this podcast? Right, well, there's a lot of them. I mean, I can think of Google's Area 120 with these 
fantastic ongoing uh, leaders who are being developed um, with a great deal of innovation. Um, Paul Allen's AI lab, AI2 um, incubator. However, I just want to mention too, I think great, there's, there's a crowd cow. Uh, there's a lot of great companies with a lot of great leaders in Seattle. Uh, the two that come to mind are um, Level 10 Energy and Panda AI. Level 10 Energy is run by Bryce Smith. He's the CEO and they are in the renewable energy business and they've received uh, the 2020 Green Power Leadership Award this year. And they're rapidly changing how PPAs are executed. So they're, he's someone to watch. Their company is growing fast. Uh, Aaron Goldfeder. He's CEO of Panda AI, which is a B2B that are making um, it easier for businesses to manage their own workflow. And so I, I would encourage you to keep their eye, your eyes on them. Uh, I also wanted to say quickly, do we have another minute by any chance? Three minutes on the clock, then great. Okay, great. So I, I didn't really say um very much about our own business but i do want to elaborate just a little bit you know in the last uh three years we've worked with 51 c-suite leaders and their and and the business owners and so i just wanted to describe a little bit i said how important it is to understand our target market and uh, just wanted to share with your audience who our target market is we actually let the market tell us over the last 15 years who they were, which is an interesting process. Uh, we didn't define our market for them. They, they started to reveal themselves. And so, uh, for example, Bryce and Aaron, is, it, it fits in that profile anyway. Um, they're, they're usually rapidly scaling their business. They have funding. Uh, Juno Therapeutics was a client of ours who went from 94 employees to 600 within a span of four years and sold that they were a two billion dollar company who sold themselves for nine billion dollars and my company was the only company working with the executive team at the time uh, through that acquisition and transitioning um, they're scaling the business simultaneously they're readying the company for sale they're disrupting their industry with the um, original products and services and the leaders are usually new and first in role within that given role. They might have led a different role before, but now they're CEOs for the very first time. So that combination makes it really exciting for us to be able to work with those uh, rapidly scaling leading edge companies, especially in uh, Seattle, but we also have been servicing um, the world uh, in Switzerland, Bermuda, England, um, Ireland, so we're happy to, happy to be uh, growing ourselves. Fantastic, and congratulations on that. We have about 30 seconds real quick. Tell us about your first sale. Oh my gosh, first sale. Well, I would say PopCap Games was uh, probably the first independent big sale, and I supported them through their acquisition. Electronic Arts um, bought them for $750 million, and uh, they had about five different org uh, changes, leadership changes, and had to redesign, had to go from a franchise to a mobile only company. And that was a pretty exciting experience for me and I believe them. So that was my first sale. Excellent. And guess what, Ann, you did it. Six Thank you. Five minutes. Yep, because hey. you know how to be concise and when to end your website. Say it real quick so people can connect with you after today's podcast. GumballEnterprises.com, GumballEnterprises.com. Please go visit us and reach us at hello at GumballEnterprises.com. Fantastic. Enjoyed having you on the podcast, Anne. And remember, oh. don't stop Thanks. believing. Yeah, April, great job. I love your format. Thank you for having me. Absolutely, absolutely. And for those that are listening and watching, be sure to check out other episodes of the On Fire. B2B podcast. This is April Renee. Create a terrific day.